Hey everyone, this is Russ Adams on Ross TV, coming to you live from my secret compound. It's a new location. Uh, I'm going to give you guys my picks for Brewers Cup Friday. And last year, I did pretty good. I'm not going to lie to you, I did pretty good. Uh, the, the two big picks overall, I didn't get wrong. Of course, of course not. Because when you have time to study it, you win. You don't rush it. But uh, this year, I thought, because I had a couple of people ask me, why don't you just do every single one and see how you do out of 15 races? I said, hell, what's the worst going to happen? I, I, if I can go 50, if I go 40%, I'll be happy as hell. Because you know I can't win 15 in a row. There's no way. If I can win 15 in a row, I should be on TBG. And I'm not. So, let's give it my best shot and see what I can come up with here for you people. So, well, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing any allowance races on the first three races on Friday because nobody really cares. So, uh, we'll start with the Breers Cup Juvenile, uh, Juvenile Sprint. Woo! This field is awful. I have never seen such awfulness in my entire life. You know this feels bad when Patrick Ballard's whale is your favorite. But, uh, well, I really, I really don't know where to go on this, on this field, but, uh, I have a feeling Oh God! Like, do I really have to pick this race? I really think Ramon Dominguez. Uh, he's either gonna have a really big day or weekend, or he's just gonna be another flop like he usually is. So, I have a feeling either Baffert or uh, Doug O'Neill is gonna win the first race. So I'll go with a. I'll go five four. Uh, one, two. I don't think P. Val's horse will show up whatsoever. I don't think it's merit man to, uh, hit the board whatsoever. But, uh, Super 99 should win this first race. Should. But you never know. But, I've been wrong before. Now, race five is, uh, the Breeders' Cup Marathon, or race two in your uh, in the Breeders' Cup, they got mm, excuse me, they got Attic Gun as a slight favorite with Mike Smith and Ken McPeak at nine to two. Uh, and this race here, whoo, this one is a is a toss up, but uh. I don't know if you've ever, ever heard of a guy named Nick Petro before. His dad's, uh, or brother, or whoever the heck he is. Who cares? But, uh, I saw this horse run a couple weeks ago at Laurel. He, well, I was watching it on a simulcast, of course, but... I think that this horse really impressed me to to the point that I may use him in the, in the exacta. I don't think the horse can win, but I think he could be in there somewhere. Right at the end, I believe. But uh, my pick for this race here is, uh, believe it or not, Martin Pedroza on the 12th. Yeah, worth repeating. Machowski's, Machowski's been really good at Santa Anita as of late, and Pedroza, he's starting to warm up a little bit. A lot, uh, watch his horse go off 10, 15 to 1. Wouldn't surprise, 5 to 1 morning line wouldn't surprise me whatsoever. Because... Quite frankly, everyone's forgetting about him. And uh, my picks in that race is 12, 7, 8, 1. Race 6 on the program and the third Breeders' Cup race of the day is the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Phillies. Uh, I should have said this earlier. Um, it's a mile race. 
Actually, the first two races, I should have said something earlier. That first race is six furlongs, and the other one's a mile and three-fourths miles. But hopefully you guys understand what I mean. The third race here is a mile. Uh, I'm not, I don't know. Uh, Jesus, you got your morning line favorite in this race is Hughes. No, European horse. Go figure. I don't think these European horses are going to have a big factor this year, so... Freaking Mountain Dew, by the way. But, uh, in my opinion, this is going to be a very good race. I don't know a lot about these horses, but, uh... I really like Patrick Husband's horse in this race. I saw this horse run not too long ago at Woodbine. Unbelievable. Woo! If that if this son if this son of a bitch is gonna is gonna run on Friday This this could be the coming out party for P husbands, that's for sure. But uh Um in this race in my opinion it's going to be five, three, six, and uh, ten. Five, three, six, ten. The next race is the Great Goose, a uh, Great Goose, Goose, <laughs> Breeders' Cup Juvenile Phillies. It's a Grade One race, going mile on the sixteenth. Favorite in this uh, the favorite in this race is executive privilege. Baker on and Baffert, go figure. But uh, this one should be pretty easy to. I don't see a lot in this race. Not like not at all. I think uh, a lot of a lot of people are going to bet. Rosie Napravnik, and you know, you know, I'm not the biggest Rosie Napravnik fan in the world, but uh, I think this horse can actually run. Believe it or not, even she can't screw this right up. Horses, horses, is just so much better than the rest of them. But uh, I think it's going to be a seven, two, five, six. Eight, two, five, six. I think I believe that's what I said. I may have made a mistake. I'm not 100% sure. So I believe I did say eight, two, five, six. Okay, all right, I got that right. All right, and the Breeders' Cup Philly and Mare Turf. Going a mile and a mile and a fourth. Oh, uh, you got your favorite in that race is uh, the Fugue with Mr. Buick for Goshen. Uh, I don't know much about those guys. Um, could run, maybe. Who knows? But uh, I think in this race. It's going to be Zagora Castellan for Chad Brown. I, I just think Chad Brown's horses have been really, really good this year. I just can't I can't get away from can't get away from this horse. I don't know why. Just this horse has been unbelievable. But uh I think it's gonna be a two twelve five one. Two, twelve, five, one, and the last Breeders' Cup race of the day is the Ladies Classic. Your favorite in that race is Royal Delta at nine to five, with Mike Smith and William Mott. The horse has got a cut on his hip, make it be kind of queasy. I don't. I, if the horse didn't have that problem, I probably would bet him. In my opinion. But in this case, I think I'm going to completely throw him off the ticket. And why? He's due to have a bad race, I think, anyway. Plus, there's no way you're going to beat my Miss Aurelia with Nakatani and Asmussen. There's just no way. 
that race at Philadelphia Park on September 22nd, I believe it was. Yes. They, uh, her and questing pretty much, it was pretty much a match, match race in a four-horse field. The rest of the other two horses in that field, I can't even remember who they were because they weren't even close in the race. But, uh, they dueled all, oh, it was a duel all the way to the, all the way to the wire. What a great race that was. Woo! But, uh, I read Ortiz learned a lot, that's for sure. Absolutely. But, uh, I, personally, I think my Miss Rose is going to kill this field. I don't think, I don't think there's much chance for the rest of these horses. Not at all. And gr even Grace Hall's in this race. Grace Hall could give this horse some trouble. So, we'll see what happens. I think it's a 2-1-5-4. 2-1-5-4. I have Royal Delta off the ticket completely. I love that. I love Royal Delta, but I just don't think she's gonna run. Or so. I just hope nothing bad happens to her. And the Twilight Derby on Friday. It's not a Breeders' Cup race, but it's a Grade Two. It used to be called the Oak Tree Derby. I uh, I will hand, I will give you guys selections in this race if you want pick four selections. Um, the favorite in this race is uh, speaking of which, is by. P. Smolin for D.K. Weld. I don't know much about that horse, but, uh, because I don't watch really much any European. You can't blame me there. But, uh, I'm going to give you guys, a, I'm going to give you guys an upset here. I've been watching this horse run for several weeks now. Several races, anyway. Of the nine horse, Huntsville, with Juan Hernandez and Barry Abrams. This horse has been consistent on the board the last several starts. He's always either getting first or second. Plus, he's, uh, I believe he's stretched a little bit when he's used to running. So, because he's running a mile and an eighth. I think he's got a shot to beat this, uh, speaking of witch horse. So, I'm going to go with nine, two, five, and eight in this race. Even though my best brother is running in this race. That's uh, Josh Coates' horse, pretty much. The, the horse I pretty much gave him for $600 in the summer at Delmar. I gave him that horse. Problem is, you're not going to be able to sprint your way home in this race. If this race was seven furlongs, my best brother would be on top of my ticket. I would have $100 to win on this horse. But, but the problem is, he's going a mile and an eighth. So I, I feel like he's going to run fourth. So, it'll be 9, 2, 5, and 8 in this race. But, uh, this is Russ Adams on Ross TV. I'll be back in a little bit to give you Saturday selections. So, hope you enjoy it. Peace.